Welcome to Cooking with Carolyn. Today we're going to make a really easy appetizer called salmon rolls. Now what you're going to need is you're going to need a tortilla shell and of course your Philadelphia cream cheese. Uh, I've chosen the salmon, uh, smoked salmon flavor and the dill. So you can make either one depending on your taste. I find that the uh, salmon, smoked salmon brings out a really nice flavor. So all you need to do is take some of the smoked salmon and spread it on the tortilla shell and you can do this you know 15 minutes before your guests arrive and still have it all ready now you can put a couple ounces on or be a little bit more generous if you like it makes a really pretty presentation with the pink and the pink salmon and a little bit of parsley. Uh, you can use dill if you like, if you're interested in uh, maybe making it a little different flavor. As long as it's something green, you can make uh, a little bit of dill and put that on as well. So chop the parsley or dill fairly fine. Sprinkle it on your tortilla shell. And then you take your smoked salmon and you lay the pieces on. Don't overlap them. Lay them on top. You don't have to cover the entire piece. But you're going to find that when you cut it, it'll look lovely. So, Take your salmon roll from the long end and roll it tightly, as tight as you can, and make a really nice presentation. Now what I usually do is put it in the uh, fridge for about 10 minutes. First put it seam down on your plastic wrap and wrap it up. And popped in the fridge. So we're going to make another one. This time we're going to use the uh, dill flavored Philadelphia cream cheese. These are so easy and colorful and tasty and your guests will just love it. What I normally do is put a little bit of uh, this emulsion on on the plate and it kind of gives a it does two things it anchors the rolls on the plate so they don't slide around and it also adds some really nice color on the white plate and what I put in it is parsley and a little bit of Dijon mustard and my secret ingredient maple syrup I love maple syrup a little bit of salt, so it's almost like a salad dressing, but you'll see when I put it on the plate how lovely it looks. So, take a little bit of parsley, and again, you can use dill, although this is dill cream cheese. Take your smoked salmon and lay it on. Usually about two is probably plenty. If you like more, you can add more, but you'll see how nice they look once we're done. So again, you roll the salmon rolls as tight as you can, and then take a little bit of plastic wrap, the seam down, and just roll it up, pop it in the fridge 10 minutes, and then we'll slice them, and I'll show you how nice they look once again on the plate. Welcome back to Cooking with Carolyn. So we've taken our rolls out of the fridge and place it seam down. Now you're going to find there's a little bit of waste at the end uh, if you want the prettiest pieces, but I always just eat them myself later. You'll kind of see where the natural spot is where they are starting to look really nice. 
So you can cut them about a half an inch thick. You can cut them a little bit finer if you like. I just find it makes it look really nice if you're making it about a half an inch thick. And you'll see what they look like once they get plated. See how nice that looks? Pretty with the orange and pink. And it's not that time consuming to get these done. And the result is just so lovely and tasty. If you love smoked salmon like I do, you'll really love these. I'm going to plate them on a large plate and this is more for handing out to your guests when they're standing around chatting. But you could also plate four or so on a smaller <coughs> plate, an individual plate, and that will be a really nice appetizer before your meal. Now we're going to take our emulsion, which will give a really nice pretty green look on the plate. And you can do squiggles or curlicues or whatever your heart desires. Like I said, it helps anchor the rolls and adds a little bit of color to the plate. Just move this over here. And you can see when I plate them how pretty they look. Don't they look great? And they taste even better. Once you get them all plated, you can see there how nice that looks. And put them out and your guests will thank you. See how it anchors to the plate when you put it on? It kind of sticks. It's a little trick, a little cooking trick I learned. So Philadelphia cream cheese, smoked salmon makes a lovely appetizer and you can just take one, pop in your mouth and they're really good. So I hope, hope you've enjoyed my video and stay tuned for the next installment. Stay tuned for the next video installment next week with Cooking with Carolyn. Have a great day.